So you might or might not know this, but I am a private teacher. So if you're struggling with things in English, um, I have online private lessons, englishwithronnie.com, and I'll help you <laughs> anything you need in English, pronunciation, vocabulary, crazy things like this. This is for one of my students, Braino. This is for you. Um, a lot of the times in our classes, students have specific questions like, Ronnie, what's the difference between as long as and as far as? And I go, oh, God, that's a good question. Let me check. Whoa. There's a lot to explain about this one. So I'll make a video about it for you. But if you have questions like this, I'm sure they come up all the time. I'll help you answer those and I'll walk you through what each of these crazy things mean. So this lesson is to help you with as long as versus as far as, as long as. We use this for a period of time. So we can say, you can stay here, period of time, as long as you like, or you can stay here for as long as you want. So I'm telling you that this is a period of time or duration. I can't say you can stay here as far as you like. That doesn't make sense. So for this one, when we're talking about a period of time, we have to say as long as. Next one. This is kind of fun. Do you guys hate conditionals? Like if or when? Huh. So we can substitute <laughs> conditionals and we can use as long as. As long as you pay, you can eat here. I can substitute as long as in this sentence for if. So I could say, hey, if you pay, you can eat here. Now, another cool thing about this sentence, because I have a little star here, is I can also reverse the order of the sentence. I can definitely say, hey, guess what? You can eat here, comma, as long as, or you can substitute if, you pay. So this is a conditional, right? If you don't pay, guess what? You can't eat here. But as long as you do this, then you have permission. So this is a requirement. As long as you give me money, I will give you lessons. If you give me money, I will give you lessons. It's like a trade. We also talk about length when we're comparing something. My coat is as long as his. So as long as makes sense, we talk about the length of something. Long means length. Length means how long something is. When you measure things, right? What's the length of something? And also we can use since, and this one we can change too. As long as you're here, let's drink. It's just another way of saying, since you're here, let's drink. Or because of the reason why you're here, oh, let's drink. Now I can switch this. I can say, let's drink as long as you're here. But we have to be careful because this one can change its meaning. So um, since you're here, Let's drink. Since you're here, let's drink. Let's drink since or because you're here. Because of your very presence. <laughs> it is ah, just inspired me to drink. Maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. <laughs> so if you see an asterisk or a star beside these sentences, it means that we can change the order of the sentence. And it's cool. It's just fun. Woo! Look at how much fun we're having with grammar today. Yes, someone hold me back. As far as, this one's fun. This shows the extent of your knowledge or your, <laughs> I guess your appearance, not appearance, opinion, but we'll get to that one. So as far as I can see, you have three kids. You might have more kids, but I don't know. And we can use verbs like see or tell. As far as I can tell, 
It's going to rain. Yeah, there's clouds. As far as I can see, it's going to rain. As far as I know. So I'm telling you that I know, I don't know everything. I know a little bit. It's like a, a limit, okay? It's perfect as far as I know. So this is an example of how I've inverted the sentence. I can say, as far as I know, it's perfect. Or, it's perfect as far as I know. It doesn't change the meaning of the sentence. As far as I can tell, it's going to rain. I can say, oh, it's going to rain as far as I can tell. But I'm not a weather person. So don't ask. Distance. Now these ones we cannot switch, okay? Don't, don't, do not change the order of this sentence, please. Um, and this is telling us kind of our limitations on something. Our limits. We will travel as far as we can. But then pff, we're just like, pff, done, going to sleep now. Um, the grass grew as far as the fence. So that means up to the limit of the fence, pff, there was no more grass. So we're giving it a distance and a limit. I ran as far as the school. Yeah. And then I died because I'm not good at running. And the last one, we use this a lot. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, you did a great job. I can also invert this. You did a great job as far as I'm concerned. Or, oh, yeah. You're a horrible person, as far as I know. As far as I know, you're a horrible person. So again, we can switch those. And this is only giving someone your opinion. It's kind of weird because we have far and long, and they might be the same in your languages, but I hope this helps. I hope you can work some things out. And as far as I know, these are all the examples that I've got to give you for this lesson. English with Ronnie.com. If you want to have private online classes with me, as far as I know, I'm out of time. I gotta go. I'm just, yeah, bye.